Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have our first look at the tier 4 German battleship, the Koenig. Now, up to this point, the only kind of uh, battleship experience we have for the Germans has been the Scharnhorst. But, thankfully, the mainline battleships seem to have some larger guns. This tier 4 battleship has larger guns than the Shiny Horse. Or the Scharn Scharnhorst. Um, it's got 305mm guns, and it's got 5 turrets by 2 guns each. So, it's formidable! But I'll give you, I'll give you a little uh, word of advice. Do not think that this thing has the armor that the Sharny, or the, why do I keep thinking it's a shiny horse? The Sharnhorst <laughs> has. This being a tier four feels an awful lot like the uh, Ishizuki. So I don't know if this was a battle cruiser. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys are very good at keeping up on all of that sort of things. But this is very susceptible to getting citadeled, especially towards the rear of the ship. Uh, same same thing that the uh, Japanese battleships had early on. Uh, of course, the Japanese battleships carry that trait all the way through, and I'm not sure if these will or not, because at some point they get really, really, really ridiculous armor, I believe. Uh, but so far, this is the only German battleship that I've gotten. I had a uh, enough to get one big crate, and this is what I got out of it. Got a nice uh, Koenig. And I'll be honest pretty good little ship. I don't mind it at all. It feels a lot more natural of a battleship. Uh, by the way, I also managed to buy one commander crate today for the Germans, and uh, guess what? We got Hipper! Woo! <laughs> finally! Finally we get our dispersion build. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Spartan, you should, you should totally build these German battleships with a secondary build. And I know that the potent secondaries on these German battleships are world-renowned. But it doesn't fit my playstyle very well. Hello, Omaha. Fancy meeting you out here on the open. Uh, hold these for me. Wait for it. Pow! Oh, no Citadel. He turned in at the last possible second. But it's okay. This is going to be one of those matches that just you dream about. Now... The tier 4 does not get torpedoes yet. Uh, the tier 5 and up, I believe, get torpedoes. So, uh, if you're fighting German battleships, do not forget, and I've already been caught by one uh, one of those nice little tier 7 uh, Tirpitz class battleships. I was going in for the ram and I forgot. <laughs> he gets torpedoes. Uh, but that's okay. It happens. Uh, we're trying to outrun these torps and, and turn away and try to just get them to go where I need them to. Unfortunately, we are going to take one, and of course it damages the steering and causes flooding. But overall, not too bad. We just pop it, fix it real quick. This T-22 over here is uh, getting in a fight with a cruiser. He seems to be losing, and hopefully he's not long for this world. But just as... A word of advice, do not forget that these German battleships... Oh, we try to get a sneaky shot on that Omaha again. Unfortunately, disappears just as I start firing the guns. And not able to get a hold of them. But we have a destroyer coming our way. We have a Konigsberg. And so we go ahead and put some uh, rounds out on the Konigsberg. I apologize if I sound a little different tonight. I have heartburn like nobody's nobody's business right now it's uh, pretty bad so I apologize for that if uh, you guys are noticing that I, I sound like I'm straining that's probably why this my my uh, throat feels like it's on fire right now um, anyway so we've got a shot at the Texas we go ahead and take it even though he disappears right before we pull the trigger uh, we still get a pretty good grouping out of this and I'll be honest this thing isn't the worst as far as dispersion goes it's not it's not an Iowa, obviously, but it's still it's still pretty decent when it comes to grouping the shells together as this Fubuki is about to find out. I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? You got half your health left, you're charging in on a battleship and a uh, 
destroyer, and we put the round out and just absolutely obliterated him. He had nothing left. These 305 millimeter guns are pretty good. They, they've got a decent rate of fire. They've got enough punch to get through and hurt things. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw it in reverse and slow down because this Konigsberg looks to me like he's about to go flying out past the island broadside on. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's not gonna end well for him. Wait for it. Hello, sunshine. Hold these for me. And... Pow! <laughs> Half his health gone, leaving him with a single bar, and we are going to be loaded in about 20 seconds. So, are we going to finish him off? Well, looks like other people are shooting at him as well, and... Come on, Spartan, you got this. Finish the kill. No, they got him first. But it's okay, because now the Omaha wants to try his luck. Now, the Omaha comes around a little bit better, but he overangles because he's trying to turn too hard. And good night, sweetheart. <laughs> Down he goes, getting Citadel through the front of a ship, giving us our second Citadel of the game. So that leaves just the Texas and the Icarus. Now, we looked at the Icarus earlier, and he was on the backside of the big island up here. He's no longer there. He is going to be coming around with the Texas. And we've got to make a couple decisions. The Icarus really, really wanted my giblets here. And I was expecting him to take my giblets because by the time he pops out on me, there's literally next to nothing I can do and he can stack his torpedoes, so I'm in trouble. But... What, the, what actually plays out is significantly different than what I was expecting. That being said, we are about to get to see these German secondaries open up. Now, most ships, most battleships, have one set of secondaries, like the Iowa. Iowa has 20 secondary guns, 10 on each side, in a 5x2 uh, configuration on either side. So you get 20 guns, they're 127 millimeters. Now, Icarus showing off his ability to use radar consumable. Thank you, Icarus, keeping me spotted for that Texas. Luckily for me, the Texas doesn't seem to give a crap. So, you know, that's a thing. But I was expecting the Icarus to pop out the right side of this freaking island at any point and just nuke me. So I was ready for it. And because I was ready for it, it never happened. He's just playing around over here. He is shooting at people, and he does get a kill on our Matsuki. But, now I'm in trouble. Because I haven't seen him fire his torps, so I'm assuming torps are available for him. And so, he's about to pop out. I don't want to go full broadside right away. I'm going to try to turn hard to port, and then I'm going to make a second turn hard back to starboard. We do get some shots on him, and look at these secondaries opening up. We don't have a secondary build. Imagine if this thing had a secondary build in this situation. Because this thing has... I want to say it's 105 millimeter secondaries, and it also has 150 millimeter secondaries. And it's 14 of each, so roughly 7 on each, each side of the ship. And this Texas is about to get walloped by them. Because right now we have 9 targets hit, which is actually 13 targets hit. We have 13 targets hit with our secondaries. Now watch what this close exchange of two battleships passing by one another with secondaries ablazing does for my my secondary targets hit. They're just climbing like crazy. And this isn't even a secondary build. This is a dispersion build German battleship. <laughs> and he's just getting picked apart. He's on fire. He's trying to dodge torps. He manages to dodge those torps, but now my guns are coming around, so I'm going to be able to get some shots into the juicy backside that has basically no armor. And there goes a lot of damage for him. We're not doing the most damage here. I understand. This isn't the most damage in the world. But look at the amount of secondary hits we've gotten in this short amount of time. We've already racked up another 50 hits on the secondaries. Just absolutely devastating secondary battery on these German battleships. And this isn't even the best 
Like, wait till you get to... The, like, I looked it up on the uh, Sharn Horse. The Sharn Horse has three different sets of secondaries that it can open up on the side of its ship. It's got the 105s. I want to say it's got uh, 150s. And... I want to say it was 144s or something like that. Something odd uh, in between. But we finished the match. We managed to get... Oh, that was another thing with the update. All the achievements seem to be freaking going crazy. So, uh, yeah, definitely a thing. But we end up making 174,000 silver, 82,000 damage, top of the leaderboard with two kills and 70 targets hit. Now, we only had 13 to begin with. <laughs> so if you think that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.